Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brad Kaplan, I'm a professional car designer and today I wanna show you how I use those markers while sketching cars. I'm gonna use this sketch that I did last year. It's a sports car side view sketch and I will not show you how to sketch this because I have my whole course for this and the other videos you can check it out. And here you see some of my templates that you can download from the course, that link in the description. And then we can start using the markers. First of all, I want to talk about the difference between the Copic marker and AD Chat Park markers. I personally prefer this AD Chat Parks over Copic markers because when you use the ballpoint pen, let's make a little demonstration here. I'm just using a ordinary photocopy paper and a ballpoint pen. And here, if you use Copic marker over this ballpoint, as you see, it has this uh, bleeding effect. The marker destroys the ink of the ballpoint and the lines are getting really blurred and if you use even more it gets worse quality. However if I use the chart park over it, it almost doesn't affect to the line on the paper. That's the biggest reason I like chart parks over Copic. There are other discussions about the colors and different textures and stuff but to be honest, it doesn't matter much. Uh, the best marker is what you have with you anyway. So let's start with this sketch here. As you see, I already put some basic shading with the pen, but now uh, let's get some light color marker. And I'm gonna use, maybe these three colors are enough. This one is warm gray two, cool gray two, and cool gray six. I'm gonna start with warm gray. Sometimes it's even enough to use only one marker. First, I will start with the main reflections of the body. I'm, I'm using it very loosely, like very relaxed lines. It's just like sketching. It's not a micro rendering. The point of this is showing very basic surfacing and uh, shading. As you see, like in a couple seconds, we already have the main reflections of the body. But the key to do that is I already know the sections of this car. I already designed that and I already know here it should be shadow, here it should be light. That's why it's very easy to do this. If you try to randomly paint the car, it will be totally awkward and probably it will be a wrong shading. And then we can put a little bit on the front and the rear reflections. And on the muscles. And after that, I want to add a bit of reflections on the greenhouse area. A little bit of interior. And if you want to make some parts a little bit stronger, a little bit more shadow, you can of course uh, go one more time with your marker and it will add a little bit more darkness on these specific areas. And here we can also have a little bit reflections. Here we go. So now I will try to combine this with another marker. I can use maybe cool gray two for adding a bit more metallic or a bit more a shadow effect. It might sound wrong to mix warm gray and cool gray, but I will use the cool gray only for adding some uh, focus points. Like here on the reflections in the middle, as you see, it adds a little bit more contrast without changing much as it's only cool gray two, not like very dark gray. Then I will take warm gray again to blend them into each other. As you see we added some more shadow on that area or reflections. Now I'm gonna close the cap of warm gray too. I will continue with cool gray 2 to add some more reflections to the rims. We didn't touch that area with the warm gray. And as you see it's still very loose, very quick way of adding the surfacing and shading. So now I'm gonna get and mix cool gray 6 with cool gray 2 because I don't have cool gray 4 with me, I couldn't find it to be honest. 
So with Cool Gray 6, I will add the parts very dark, like very dark shadows. It will be almost like black. Like inside the rim. And maybe we can add a little bit reflection here with the thin part of the marker. Something like this. The key is really don't be afraid. Um, I know that it's a bit stressful thing to use markers because you can really ruin the sketch with a couple of mistakes. But in my opinion you are doing this for yourself mostly. Today we don't use marker sketches for final presentations and even if you need to use it for final presentation you can always uh, fix some mistakes on Photoshop anyway. So marker sketching in my opinion is more about fun and adding some um, different aesthetical value to your sketch. And of course it's a very quick way to show the idea on the paper. So we are more or less done with the sketch. Before finishing, even if I said like, oh, the pen was stick here, interesting. Even if I said that AD markers are not ruining the ink of the pen, of the pen uh, as you see, still after we use it heavily, and it's like an ordinary paper, like A4 paper. So I will just uh, make some, add some contrast and darkness with the pen to some lines that I want to emphasize. Like this line is very characteristic on this car, so I will add a couple more strokes to make it more visible. And around the greenhouse, a little bit to the silhouette. And the muscle here. It's a very like nice, quick and nice dirty sketch. I think it has some flavor in it and I really like this uh, approach, this practicality. So this was a sketch, as I said, done in 2020. So we did the marker in 2021, so let's sign it again. It's a sketch for two years, interesting. All right, guys, as I said, you can learn from me how to sketch cars, like the line quality, proportions, perspective, line weight, creativity, and the balance between all these things. I prepared my course for this. If you still don't have it, you can go to link in the description to learn from me more than two hours, all these skills. And you will also have more than 40 practice files, as you see here, that I show you different segments of cars with the different perspectives and proportions. So that's it for this video, and I hope to see you on the next one.